Now then, yeah, back out. Back out with Poppy. Just looking for some Hawthorn sticks again. Ah, uh, yeah, been uh, real busy recently. You know, life's getting where we're working at, getting up to Christmas. So yeah, it's um, haven't been able to get out as much as I'd like. So we'll go for a little recce round here again. We're back where we found the bottles. So this time I'm going to be checking about, see what other little hidden bits, bits and bobs we can find. So yeah, I'll uh, see if we find any decent potential sticks. So yeah. I'm pretty knackered now and walking up and down a lot of it is a uh, half on up this sort of end but this is a lot more pruned back or whatever and as you can see just over there it's a let it's a lot more overgrown so i'm gonna go have a deep in there like you might have noticed i got one lol nice looking uh cudgel style yeah it's not too bad so yeah, I'm going to catch my breath and then I'm going to have a look down there see what other potential decent sticks is about yeah this bit's looking a bit more promising it's like more heavier growing we've got some newer growth just here so what I uh, yeah I'll be intrigued to see what that growth into like the footing though it's a bit steep and uh, yeah it's a bit slippy so hopefully I might find a few bits to show you But yeah, sniff a dog's onto it, so we might get find one or two in here. All right, so I got one you can see where it is. I'm just on there. Uh, got this decent looking one. Uh, with a nice old knob handle on it. <clears throat> All right, it's a lot longer than the other cudgel style one I found. So yeah, not bad. Another little bit more deeks about, but getting a bit sloppy and I think Poppy's getting a bit cold aren't you Poppy? So she ignores me. All right I'll carry on for a little bit longer. All right I'm gonna head back to the shed so I think it's these two which I've got today. Hell looks like someone's been down here cutting cutting the holly for Christmas. Uh, I don't blame you walking up there. But uh, yeah, I'll put these in the shed, so next time you see this, be in the shed and I'll show you what uh, show you what this year's find so far. Come on, Poppy. Next time, probably do a few more hazel shanks and that. And get all them sticks ready. All right. See you in a bit. Well, here I am back in the uh, shed on me allotment. This is the uh, stick I have found. It's decent length. Plenty of the old knuckles and bits where branches come out. But what I've done, I know I said it in my first video, but I, d I never stain the ends, which I don't. But this year I thought, why not experiment to see how much better it be if I seal the ends. So it's just like basic wood stain I borrowed. It's now, uh, it's now in particular, I can't even remember what brand it is, but you'll get it. You know, in shops and hardware shops and whatnot, and that's the Lao Cudgel. Again, the same. Still a bit wet. These sticks. So what I might do is just let them air dry out a bit more, and then um, I'll separate, you know, the longer sticks from like the cudgels, and I'll just, uh, yeah, hang them up from rafters in the shed, and just, yeah, wait a year or two. <laughs> 